welcome to the KTA video learning series. This instructional series boils down the coatings inspection process, inspection instrument use, and relevant industry standards into brief segments that are easy to follow and understand. You can find the entire list of current and future videos at ktauniversity.com. Selection of a coating maintenance strategy and the controls that must be implemented is based in part on whether the existing coating system contains lead or other toxic metals that are hazardous to workers, the environment, and the surrounding public. According to the OSHA Lead in Construction Standard, any detectable concentration of lead triggers the provisions of the standard and engineering controls, work practices, and personal protective equipment must be implemented to control the hazard. Exposing unprotected workers to lead and other toxic metals when coatings are disturbed during maintenance or removal is a violation of the standard. As a result of these requirements, it is important to determine whether there are detectable levels of lead and other toxic metals in coatings before maintenance work begins. The presence of toxic metals in existing coatings should be disclosed in the scope of the coating specification so that contractors and others can bid the work appropriately. The most reliable method of determining the presence of toxic metals in coatings is to collect samples of the coating from the structure that are representative of all coats. It is important that the collection of the sample is carefully controlled to obtain the full thickness of all coats cleanly to the substrate. The collected sample is analyzed in a laboratory using atomic absorption spectroscopy, or AAS, or using inductively coupled plasma atomic emission spectroscopy, ICPAES. These analytical methods are extremely sensitive and can detect multiple metals such as lead, cadmium, and chromium in a single sample. If there is a need to determine the presence of lead in the field, chemical spot tests can be used. One of the spot tests, lead check, provides a qualitative indication of whether lead is present in the coating. In order to obtain a true analysis, the coating must be cut at an angle to expose all coats. After breaking the two vials housed in the cardboard tube, shake the tube to activate the chemical rhodozonate. Wipe the swab onto the scribe. The tip of the swab turns pink in the presence of lead. It does not provide a quantitative analysis, that is, it will not reveal how much lead is present. The lead check swab is typically sensitive down to about 0.5% or 5,000 parts per million. So if the concentration of lead in the coating is less than this, it may not detect it even though lead is present. In other words, if it turns pink, lead is present. If it does not turn pink, lead may or may not be present and samples should be removed for laboratory analysis to confirm whether or not lead is present. Lead check swabs also do not check for other toxic metals that may be in the coating. That's all there is to it. Log on to ktauniversity.com for other instructional videos on lead detection and other subjects.